So y'all get ready for this one. We're gonna we'll take a look at this one day. Not today. Sun's about high noon right now and it's hot. So I'm fixing to knock off. Go get me a hot dog somewhere. But I'm coming back here and tell you the story about this. About two dozen Confederate soldiers laid to rest that died in the nearby hospital here in Cuthbert many, many years ago. They're all laid to rest right here in this cemetery. The soldier stands guard over them right now. Confederate dead in hospitals. 24 Confederate soldiers are buried here. These men, veterans of many hard fought battles, died in the Confederate hospitals located here between 1863 and 1865. They were the Hood, Hill, Lumpkin, and several temporary ones. Among the gallant Confederate women who served in these hospitals was Mary Joyner, known as the Hospital Angel. Federal cavalry, in an effort to capture Jefferson Davis, passed through Cuthbert twice in early May 1865, but did not molest the hospitals. The Stonewall Jackson Chapter, UDC, erected this monument in 1907 and cares for these Confederate graves. This is pretty neat right here, isn't it? McDonald. Angels holding a cross in one hand, is that right? We're gonna try and cut through to get to the gate here. With that hand up in the air. It's grown up pretty thick too. I like this decorative fence too. So that was a short of the Confederate dead in this historic cemetery in Cuthbert, Georgia, and the hospital, several hospitals that took care of the wounded and dying soldiers of the Confederate Army during the Civil War. Mm -hmm.